Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see your smiling faces today. It's been so long since we got to see each other, but it's really exciting I can join you this morning. But you're in your house, which is a little bit different as well. I hope you're having fun with your family in lockdown. Now, if you've never been to Mainly Music before, we want to welcome you. My name is Helen. This is my baby down here that I'm going to be using. And we're going to welcome you in now with a song. We're going to say, Tina Kawai. Karakia now. Um, so here we go. Iti atua homai kia mato, to u mara matatanga, to u rangi marie, to u kaha, me to aruha, mo tenera, ake ake ake. Amine. Now we're doing a pretty special set this week. It's all about birds. And we're going to do birds for the next three weeks. So you'll get to know these songs really, really well. So for our first bird song, we're going to sing about chickens. So if you can hop to your feet, because this one means we're going to have to move around a bit. If you're in your lounge, you can run to one side to the other if you wanted, or you can just run on the spot, which I'm going to do with my mother here, because I don't have much space. And we're going to do two little chickens. Can you find two fingers as well, like we did before with the first song? Two little chickens looking for some more. Along came another two and they made four. Can you run to the haystack? Run to the pen. Run, little chickens, back to mother hen. And at mother hen, you can give your big person a cuddle if you want. Run back to mama. Right, run four. Four little chickens getting in a fix. Along came another two and they made six. Run this way and run this way. Run, little chickens, back to mother hen. Big hugs. Ah. Right, what comes after six? We're counting them twos, aren't we? Six little chickens searching on the gate. Along came another two, they made eight. Run to the haystack, run to the pen. Run, little chickens, back to mother hen. Oh, good running. I can see you doing lots of running. Right, on eight. Eight little chickens back to mother hen. Along came another two and they made ten. Run really fast. Run to the pen. Run little chickens back to mother hen. Oh, it's nice going back to mother hen. Well done, good running. Oh, you're probably a bit poked now after running. So you can sit back down again, all right? going to have a rest because our next song, before we do our next song, I want to show you something. For our next song, we're going to be using these cool things. Now, hopefully your grown-up has got this on an email and if they can, they can print it out and next week, you can be ready for next week and we can use them in our song next week rather than this week. You can make them. So I'm going to show you a little bit how to make one. If you don't have a printer, that's okay. Maybe you could draw the animals on paper instead of printing it. But for now, I've printed them off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around my fish. So you're going to cut all the way around your fish. 
or you can just draw your fish. And if you aren't drawing them, you're going to need two fish, and you're going to need two caterpillars, and you're going to need two dicky birds for this next song. Passing around, taking my time. <laughs> I bet during lockdown you've done lots of crafts with your family. Do you reckon you have? If you haven't, I recommend doing some colouring, some drawing. It's always lots of fun to do craft at home with your family. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our popsicle stick and we're going to use the sterile tape to stick it to the back. So now you've got a handle you can use to hold it up with this next song. Okay? So I know you don't have them today. That's okay. You can sit with your big person and use your fingers, or you can swim with your fingers, with your hands, or you can just watch my ones. And next week, I'm looking forward to seeing all your craft work. All right, here we go. We're going to do two little dicky birds. Whoop, got to get them up. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall One named Peter, one named Paul Fly away Peter, Peter fly over here, fly let's take a fly over here Come back Peter, come back Paul Oh, good going, we're going to use our goldfish now Two little goldfish swimming in a tank One named Freddy, one named Freddy Swim away, Freddy, swim away, Frank. Swim back, Freddy, come back, Frank. <laughs> Those are cool names. What about your caterpillars? Two little caterpillars sitting on a branch. One named Betty, one named Blanche. Crawl away, Betty, crawl away, Blanche. Crawl back, Betty, crawl back. Caterpillar named Branch. That's a little bit funny because they would often sit on that, wouldn't they? Or a leaf. All right. So we're going to put those ones away and they're going to come back out next week. All right. Put our dicky birds away now. We're going to do five little ducks. Look, I've got some ducks here. Five of them. Oh, here's the babies and here's the mum. So put the mother duck on. I'll put these ones on first, probably. Would make it easier. For you, you can just come in and put usual fingers and count with me because we're going to count. Hey, Tahi, Rua, Toru, Fa, Rima. And here's Mother Duck. Quack, quack. Yeah. 
them. They all came home safe and sound. All right, bye bye duckies. I think they're pretty tired now after all that running around. Now, if you've got a bubba, you're gonna come and lie down next to your grown up. You can sit on their lap. You can lie on your tummy. And we're gonna do Mr. Snail across the back like this. So it might be a bit tickly. If you don't like being touched, maybe your grown up will let you do it to them instead. So you go ask them if you can do it on their back and see what they say. But we're gonna go, Mr. Snail, Mr. Snail. You leave a shiny silver trail so we can see where you have been. Slow, Mr. Snail. Here comes the rain. The rain comes falling, pitter patter, upon your hard and shiny back. The rain comes falling, pitter patter, slow, Mr. Snail. The sun, it comes shining through to brighten up your little room. The sun, it comes shining through, slow, Mr. Snail. And we're talking about snails because birds eat snails. Ooh. Would you want to eat a snail? I don't know if I could do that. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is I have a special bag here. And I'm going to bring out something different each week out of this bag. But this week, what have I got? Oh, we're doing birds. Oh, it feels soft and nice. Oh, what's that? It's a feather, isn't it? Is that a feather? Can you tell me what colour that feather is? Purple! Oh, you're onto it. Okay, I'm going to test you. You know what purple looks like. What about this one? What colour is that one? Orange? No. Is it green? No. Oh, sorry, you're saying pink. You're yelling pink. Yes, you're completely right. We've got feathers because, well, feathers come from birds. Don't they? And lots of feathers, all feathers, all birds rather, have feathers. And some birds even have feathers, bright colours like this. You can get boring whites and browns and blacks and things, but some birds have these gorgeous coloured feathers, just like I have in my bag. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to do I'm a little bubble. Have you got bubbles at home? If you don't have bubbles at home, it's okay. Can you try and help me to blow my bubbles? Okay. You might see them in my screen. And if you do, reach out and grab one. Okay. And we're going to do I'm a little bubble. <gasps> have you got some bubbles going? Oh, it says I'm a little bubble round and clear. You can blow me up. <gasps> I dance on air. Dance up to the ceiling, then I drop, just clap your hands and see me pop. Oh, can you make them pop? Oh, there's something so much fun about bubbles, isn't there? Go pop! <laughs> Ooh, I'm a little bubble, round and clear. You can blow me up by dance on air. Dance up to the ceiling, then I drop. Just clap your hands and see me pop. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say bye to the bubbles. Go to the bubbles. We're gonna uh, we're going to finish up soon, but we're gonna do another massage song. So if you can go lie down on your back, in front of your grown up, like this, like my baby is, and we can do tum tum drum on your belly, yes, okay, and remember you might get a bit tickled, so be ready for the tickling, okay, it says, I can beat a rhythm on you, tum tum drum, <gasps> snail slide, snail slide, what a lovely tum tum drum, I can beat a rhythm on you, tum tum drum, kiwis poke, what poke, kiwis poke, what a lovely tum tum drum. I can beat a rhythm on you, tum tum drum. Jellyfish jiggle, <laughs> jellyfish jiggle. What a lovely tum tum drum. 
I can beat a rhythm on you. Tam tam drum. Tom tit toes go. Tickle tickle tickle. Tom tit toes go. Tickle tickle tickle. What a lovely tam tam drum. Oh, such a lovely tum tum jump and lovely having massages and cuddles with our grown ups. And that's something we could be thankful for is even though we're locked down in our houses and we can't really see everyone we want to see, we have our family. And one of the best things about having our family is that we can do that. We can have cuddles. You can give your mum or your dad or your kid give a big hug because that's something we can be thankful for. And we're going to say thankful now and um, thank God for having cuddles. We're thankful, we're thankful. We like to say we're thankful for hands and feet and food that we eat. Thank you, God, for the gorgeous cuddles that we can have with our big person. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish up our session now. It's been so lovely seeing you again and being able to do this with you, but we're going to sing Te Aruha now. So we're going to get our movements out. Te aroha, te whakapono, me te rangi mari e tātou tātou e. Can you do that? Te showed you earlier and I look forward to seeing you next week. Kaki day. See you later.